Hey, welcome everybody to Eco Girl Chat. I am Jody, and I have with us today are Jennifer Muller and Leslie Mertens. <laughs> and today we have the distinct honor of having our uh, Eco Girl Chat supporters and team members joining us today. Gentlemen, would you kindly introduce yourselves? Hello, I'm Jimmy Benero. They call me a product specialist here at EcoPrintQ. That means I get to do lots of things. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Good morning. Jimmy. Good morning. I'm Paul Mignante. I'm also a product specialist. I'm, I work with Jimmy. We, we support all of the channel managers here at EcoPrint Q. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for taking the time to join us today. We're really excited to have you on. Um, we've got some questions with for you. I'm not sure if you've seen our previous uh, formats, but so the idea is we just want to learn from you and share with our audience. And so the first thing uh, that we want to get from you is who or what inspires you? And it doesn't have to be work related, just what really inspires you? My whole thought process is about innovation kind of, you know, so I, I really love guitar and um, one of the, the famous guitar players that I really am inspired by would be Eddie Van Halen. Um, and the reason is because he's so, he was so dynamic and, and he did things new, right? Something that no one else ever did, right? So uh, I tend to be that way, you know, and I do things, I always look for a better way. It, sometimes it can be a double-edged sword, right? So if I make something, if it's, it could be simple, like a steak, I look at it and go, yeah, it was pretty good, but geez, I wish, <laughs> maybe I need a little more salt. Um, kind of drives my wife a little crazy because, you know, I'm never really happy with anything, but, uh, I always strive for that, right? Innovation, always looking for a better way. I remember in high school, no, junior high school, uh, some guy in the wood shop made a replica Eddie Van Halen guitar. So freaking cool to awesome. see that. I always wish I could have built one, but. Yeah, he, he was amazing. So cool. He was an amazing guitar player. Well, Jimmy, what do you want to uh, share with us? So who or what inspires you? I go back to when I was growing up, it was um, me, two sisters and a brother, and probably right about um, age, I was about age seven, my parents, they went through a divorce, but my mom had married very young, like very young. So when she had me, I was her first, um, she was not able to finish high school. Um, eventually, once I got th through to maybe uh, maybe it was about 11 or 12, she was able to get her GED and um, doing all of that while raising four kids by herself. Wow. But, but one thing that uh, my mom did recently, it was in the summer of 2021, she had gone or she had started going through college, but in the summer of 2021, she earned her doctorate degree. Wow. And uh, I, I, I'm always like really proud of. Yeah. That is amazing. That, that is takes awesome. a lot. I can't even imagine yeah, going to medical school, school now at my age, let alone a woman oh. who's done all this and is further oh. along in her life. That's something, yeah, that is inspirational, Jimmy. Yeah, very inspiring <laughs> very much, story. And it's lovely yeah. that you're touched by it. Yeah, yeah well. Yeah. All right. Uh, when she when she got it, she let me know. I, I did this little thing. She was trying to put her paper together, her final paper. Long story short, she was having trouble with Microsoft Word, and she asked me if I could give her a hand. So, <laughs> being being that I am, I was happy to help her get some formatting done. It was really weird. Doesn't matter anymore. But uh, so it was neat to have a little bit of a touch. But when she did get it, um, I don't know if you remember that scene from the movie uh, Spies Like Us, where they're all together under that tent, and they're like, Doctor. Doctor, doctor, doctor. So anyway, yeah, um, yeah. It, it, I think what I learned from that experience is you can do. It doesn't matter um, where you are in life. If you want something, you can you can go for it. Absolutely. No, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that story. We love that motto, and we yeah. love trying something new, right, Leslie? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Paul, I have a question for you. What is the last time? What is the last time you tried something new, and and what was it? Ooh. 
Well, based on my first response, I always try something new. Um, <laughs> I never do it the same twice. But um, last year, we have a, a pontoon boat, and you know they get old, and there's a lot of seats we have, you know, and they start getting deteriorated. So you know, we looked into, you know, getting them redone. Well. The, the first off to find somebody to do them in a timely manner is crazy you got to drop it yeah. off takes six months um so that was a problem then the cost was astronomical yeah so you know then we looked at replacing them and the cost was astronomical so i said well, you know mm -hmm. what let's just do it we'll do it you know we never I, did it before yeah. i didn't I, i've done everything up to this point right so i'm like yeah it can't be that hard how hard could it be? Um, Famous yeah. last word. We're going to find out. Yeah. yeah. Now, here's the deal. I knew that probably we would need new equipment, right? I mean, I probably wouldn't have everything I needed. But I looked at it and said, you know, I could pay somebody to do it and have nothing at the end other than the seats. Or I could do it. Maybe it cost me the same, but now I have all the equipment to do it again. So, um, For in any event. Like, That's, I got to know where the story is going already. So are you for hire for boat seat? Uh, yeah. well, yeah. you know, <laughs> then I said, you know, wouldn't it be great to hang out at the docks when I retire and just do a couple seats oh, here and there? There you go. So first of all, you're never retiring. So just forget well, about that. You're yeah. never leaving us. Well, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I mean, the door is open for anything. Uh, I have the I have some of the equipment. I don't have it all, but. That was my that. last new adventure. That's awesome. I love if you want it, you can come to Canada and do ours next. See, <laughs> see right there. I I'll already have had two too. people I could do seats for. I mean, yeah. it's really that <laughs> the market is pretty big. And yeah. <laughs> That's a great story. Thank you, Paul. And then Jimmy, uh, you're going to get the same question. And I'm really excited to hear your response, too. Um, so just a reminder, when was the last time you did something new and what was it? So I'm embarrassed to say that I don't get out too much except to do chores and things like that. But uh, about a few weeks ago, uh, for the first time, I stopped over at my local VFW where I got to hang out with a bunch of veterans who brought their old cars in. And so it was like a car show. And that was really fun to be able to talk to the owners of the cars, tell me the history and the story, how they got the car, how it was a jalopy when they first got it, all the time and effort that they put into it. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, and sit down with a beer or two or three. <laughs> that was probably the funnest part. But yeah, just being able to hang out with a bunch of folks that were very passionate about that uh, that car and hearing the stories, uh, that was the, the last thing. I, I'd never done anything like that before. What a great group of people, too. So, yeah, that was... That's, uh, that's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. fun. I love it. So, Jimmy, I have the final question. I'm going to flip it. So, Jimmy, if you <laughs> could go for it first. Picking back, piggybacking off of meeting with the veterans, did you get any good advice? I'm curious, what is the best piece of advice you've ever received? And maybe it's from one of those gentlemen you just met. Um, I actually didn't get any advice from them. Um, but I've gotten a lot of good advice over the years, like a lot of good advice. It's really hard to pick maybe that one thing. But I would say um, as somebody who would maybe get something in my, this is probably my younger days, you know, when you get something, oh, don't worry about it. You know, it's no big deal and stuff like that. Um, what I learned was, and this was a piece of advice that was given to me was when somebody gives you something, you say, thank you. Yeah. And what I didn't understand before that was when somebody is giving you something, there's a joy in giving. And when you don't accept that, you're kind of taking that away from them. And I didn't realize that up until that point. So now I've learned to just say, thank you. That's probably the best advice I've gotten so far. I love it. I think I'm guilty of that, honestly, when people give me a gift sometimes, not the initial thank you. I think that's important. That's a great piece of advice. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Paul, what about you? What's your best advice ever? Oh, so, you know, I always say, you know, just do your best, right? So it, we're always thinking, you know, are we going to, you know, is this going to be good enough? Am I going to, you know, is this going to be acceptable? That kind of thing. If you do your best and, and you take that, right, then it doesn't matter. You've done your best. Um, it's the best you could do. But that's the one piece of advice, though, that I did get years and years ago um, had to do with it. It was a funny story. I, I bought a car. Uh, I wasn't a mechanic. I'm a young kid. I bought it from uh, some guy that was a, a truck driver, but he built, rebuilt his trucks and everything. And he said, OK, well, the, here's the problem, though. I want that engine. You need to take that out. <laughs> take it out. I don't know how to take it out. And he said, yeah, no, don't, don't worry about it. We're going to go to the bar. We'll be back. You take it out. I'm like, by myself? He <laughs> said, don't worry about it. It's just a matter of time. It just takes time. So that phrase, if you think about it, even projects that are so insurmountable, right? Oh my God, I can't do that. It's just, it really is just a matter of time and little pieces of the puzzle. You say, you know, you don't work too far ahead. You just say, well, I just have to do this first. So let me do it. And then I do this next and let me do it. So that, that just a matter of time really kind of plays. Anytime things are really complicated, I just tell myself, oh, it's just time. I just have to keep plugging along. One step at a time. One step at a time. Yeah. I think that also goes with the just dive in. Just dive in. Just do it. Right. Yeah. First yeah. step. I mean, Take because first everything step. is, you know, if you've never done anything, it's pretty complicated. You can try to think through it. And even people that do stuff a lot, you, you still have to break it up. Right. I still do projects that are big. It could be a big remodel project. I'll say, I can't worry about that piece of it at all because it's too much. Let's focus on this piece first. So yeah, you just break it apart. I love that. That's fantastic advice. And it actually circles yes. back to our industry, right? And, and our roles here at EcoPrink U as well. I feel like giving trainings to dealers that we support, we so often yeah. use that same sentiment of, come on, just let's just get started. Let's dive in. Let's just yeah. make the phone calls. Let's just take the training, learn the product. Uh, so it could be used in all avenues yeah. of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to say a heartfelt thank you to you guys. I think I learned a, le a lot more about each of you as well. And I thought I knew you pretty well working with you. And so thank you so much for coming on and sharing yourselves with us in the Eco Girl Chat world. And uh, we're going to be doing another podcast next month. And we are going to have um, another uh, gal from one of our dealers that works with Eco Print Q join us and, and answer some questions and share some of her time with us as well. So thank you and have a great week. Thank you, Jimmy. Bye. Thank you, Paul. Bye, Bye everybody. Guys. Bye. Bye.